Hi everyone and welcome to another video with the normal bloke, that's me, and some mountain stuff. Right, so for this video we're still looking at uh, some Alp kit gear here. I've got my Rig 7 tart which is from my very first video. And what I'm going to do is today we're going to look at uh, the bivvies that Alp that kit do. Now this is the Hunker bivvy. Um, in beautiful camouflage red as you can see and these come in two sizes uh, you can get an XL one but I didn't I just got a standard size one and uh, let's have a quick a quick look through at some of the features of it right so uh, what well, first feature then let's have a look is at the end at the foot end of the uh, of the bivvy at the hunker bivvy uh, it's got its own little carry pouch so when you finish with it you just stuff it in and it comes to the little ball that I showed you a uh, moment ago. At the other end, um, well you can see how tall it is, there it is, that's it, standing on the ground, you can't see how tall it is, it goes off screen there, doesn't it? Uh, so it's, it's reasonably large. Um, the material is, uh, uh, it's not Gore-Tex, but it's meant to be waterproof, uh, water resistant and uh, breathable as well. And uh, I've, the times I've used it, I've had no problems with uh, condensation inside the bivy bag at all. Um, and I've camped out in spring as well, you know, when there tends to be a bit of condensation about. Um, so I've not had any problems with condensation. Um, it's sort of tapered from the foot end, it's maybe this wide at, at the bottom. And it goes quite wide at the top. And the uh, entrance is um, lined with uh, a, a black sort of fabric that's double stitched. And there's a couple of cable ties, so there's a, you can see the double stitch black fabric there and on the end there's a couple of cable ties uh, pulls that you can cinch closed and you know it's pretty basic stuff really but it does do the job um, so let's have a look with it uh, fully packed and ready for a night under the stars so if we just look at the end of the uh, baby bag there inside there you can see how much space there is between that and there's the there's the mattress and uh, there's the head of the sleeping bag. I've got a bit of a pillow. So there's plenty of space in there for me. It'll easily fit you. If you're six foot, six foot-ish, it'll easily fit you. Um, and, you know, it, it's uh, pretty compact and you're pretty restricted when you're in it. But, you know, it's a bivvy. And if you do fancy sleeping out in the stars, um, it's the way to go, really. Like I said, there's very little condensation in it. Um, but uh, for, for, like I say, 35 quid or so, uh, it's it's not a bad way of uh, spending a night out. Right, so there we are, we're all set up, ready for my night out under the stars. Um, I'm currently in a bit of a forest uh, north of Lancaster, at a place called Silverdale at the minute. It's right nice, on a scout camp. Um, but it's going to be nice tonight, and uh, hopefully it'll clear up. I might wake up in the middle of the night, and um, you know, I don't even need to unzip anything. I'll just stick my head out from under the tarp, and you know, I've got a view of the stars. So, the Alp Kit Bivvy... It's uh, no bells and whistles to it. It's pretty sturdy construction. Uh, straight forward, straight down the line. Really good value. Um, serves me really nicely on sea cliffs, um, overlooking sea. Uh, sea cliffs tend to do. Uh, and in some mountainous areas as well, as well as forested areas. Uh, really good quality. And, uh, you know, makes outdoors just a little bit easier. So, uh, that's the end for the, this video. And if you'd like to like and subscribe, you can do, to Normal Bloke and Mountain Mountain Stuff. And you can leave a comment in the video uh, on the comments below if you like. And uh, we'll see you again for some more mountain stuff.